Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a couple of skincare products that I want to do um, a couple of mini reviews on and a couple of demos on how I use those. So if you would be interested, then just keep on watching. Okay, the first product I want to talk to you is a product from Sawaso and it is a Korean skincare brand. And to me, this is like the luxury skincare brand of Korean skincare. Um, to me, it's like um, La Mer would be. Um, it's very, it's kind of pricey. And I did get this through Octoly. Um, it showed up on my Octoly free store, so I applied for it. I was so excited when they went ahead and you know selected me to um, get it to review. I was really, actually I was kind of shocked that they did because usually when products like this um, pop up <laughs> and I apply for them, they don't think that I'm a good fit for it. But anyway, it's the First Care Activating Serum. And what this is, it's a product that you put on, basically you cleanse your skin. That's how I do it. I cleanse my skin and then I use my Clinique Clarifying Lotion and then I put this product on because it's a product that you're supposed to put on your skin after you cleanse to balance the skin, to prep it to get it ready for your the rest of your skincare regime because what this product does, it really kind of helps to enhance the key ingredients that's in the rest of your skincare to make them work better, to really help those key ingredients in your skincare to really um, just work better because it's going to help your skin to receive those ingredients and get deeper into the skin. Of course, it's um, made to work with the full line of the Sawaso skincare line that goes with this, but I've been using it with just my normal skincare and I think it works fine. Um, I use it morning and evening and I have definitely been enjoying it. I enjoy the smell. Here's what the bottle looks like. It does have a cap. I just didn't bring the cap out of the bathroom, but this is what it looks like. It's very luxurious, high-end looking. Um, it has a pump, but you can get that off of there. It smells very um, herbal-ish. <laughs> um, it does have, um, made up with five different, um, herbs and I'm going to try to pronounce them. I can pronounce most of them but there's one that I have a little bit of a trouble with. Um, there's Lotus, Peony, Solomon Seal, White Lily, and um, Remania. I don't know if that's pronounced. It's R-E-H-M-A-N-N-I-A. -N -N but this is a balancing complex that Sawaso has come up with and has been used for um, 3,000 years um, in the Asian skincare and has helped to restore the skincare or the skin. And they have found um, that it works as far as using it to balance the skin. So I'm going to cut away to a clip and show you how I use it and how it performs on my skin and then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. Okay, I'm going to show you the demo of this um, Sawaso, Sawuso. I'm not for sure how to say this, but oh, I was so excited to get this in from Octoly. Um, the Korean's number one serum. Um, it's supposed to be like a prep on um, getting your skin ready to receive your other products. And I apologize, I'm not really for sure where I'm supposed to look on using my iPhone. And I also apologize for all of this darkness under my eyes. Oh my goodness, yeah. I just mm, have not been sleeping good. But anyway, this is how I use it. I just take a couple of pumps like that. And I've um, cleansed my skin and I have used my clarifying lotion from Clinique. And then I just take it and I just press it into my skin like so. Oh, and it feels so good, so good. And I just press it all over. And I go down into my neck a little bit too. And it has a really nice um, like earthy scent to it. That's how I want to describe it. 
and it just absorbs into the skin so quickly. It doesn't leave a tacky feeling. It's not sticky. And just like that, it's absorbed. I mean, it's off my hands, it's into my skin, and now my skin is ready for my um, toners, and then it's ready for my um, essence, and then my serums, and my moisturizers. It's just, it's just preparing the skin for your ingredients, your, your skincare that you're getting ready to do the skin with. It's just a prep, and it's just so nice so nice but oh man do, uh, does my skin see you can see my tea bags or my tea stained eyelids that I always talk about see what I'm talking about there I don't normally show them but you can see <laughs> what I talk about and see my under circles here this is from allergies and it's also from lack of sleep here lately I just haven't been sleeping um, it's another side effect from having mental illness and I just haven't been sleeping. But anyway, I really do like this. It's called the First Care Activating Serum EX. And I'll talk more about it in the, um, <clears throat> the normal portion of the video. But I just wanted to cut away to this little demo and just show you how I actually use it in my skincare regime. So anyway, back to the regular video. <clears throat> So as you can see from the clip, it really absorbed very quickly in the skin. There was no tackiness, no residue. Um, definitely just went right in. You didn't have to wait any amount of time. You could just go right in with the rest of your skincare. For the past 20 years, this has been Korea's number one um, serum for prepping the skin for skincare. And I would most definitely uh, recommend it. I have um, very much have enjoyed using it for the past three weeks that I've had it and would definitely recommend it. Um, I'm not for sure on the price point. I haven't wanted to look. Let me look really quick and see what the price point of it is. Mm. Yeah, I knew it was a pretty um, pricey skincare line, um, especially considering that it's a, a Korean skincare line um, because most of the time the Korean skincare is pretty reasonable and affordable but this is $84 so anyway but there will be a link in the description box for it and so but yeah I do like it though so anyway so let's move on to the next product that I have to show you and it is from Dr. Brandt, and it is the Neck Sculpting Cream. And it came with this little um, rose quartz tool, sculpting tool. And it is called the Goucher, the Goucher Technique. Anyway, it's a little sculpting tool. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and just cut right to the clip of me doing the demo for this product and then when we come back I'll tell you my final thoughts. Okay, the next portion of the um, demo portion of this video is from Dr. Brandt and it's the next sculpting cream that I was sent from Octoly and um, it came with this really nifty little quartz rose quartz um, tool here and it is called I have to look again because I can never remember what it's called make sure I'm on the English side of this box the go gay shay g u a s h a tool anyway it's a neck sculpting cream. When I seen this pop up on my Octoly store, I was kind of interested in it because I really am needing some help with sculpting the um, <clears throat> neck here, the sides here, and you know, my little chin here. So I wanted to apply for it. So I'm gonna show you how I've used it. I've only been using it a few times um, because actually I just keep forgetting to use it, but just massage it in like this. And this is how the directions have told me to use it. Just first, just kind of massage it. Oh, but I try to hide the fact that I have my hair wrapped up in my t-shirt. My t-shirt just fell. So I guess we'll just go down like that. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I have my hair wrapped up in my t-shirt. I was trying to disguise it with this cute little bow thingy. <laughs> so 
anyway, and then you take the little tool here and first of all, you take this part here, and they do tell you to be very, very, very careful with it and be very gentle because it can cause bruising if you don't. And I definitely agree with that because the first time I used it, I did get a little rough with it. Upward strokes. And you just go upward strokes with it like this. And just be very careful and you use this end of it here the rigid end underneath the chin and you just do upward strokes and I keep this in my skincare fridge so it's nice and cool and it just feels so good and they recommend that you use the cream a.m. and p.m. so that's what I have been doing when I use it when I remember to use it I'm bad about not doing it and I should be shameful of that because I promised that I would do. I did some before pictures, but I haven't been using it consistent enough to um, do an after picture yet, but I'm going to. I'm going to show you um, before and after pictures at the end of February is what I'm gonna do because then I will have used it enough. And then you take the outer edge here and you go along the jawline like this. And the way I think of it is, is I'm just kind of like, I'm trying to slice my jowls. <laughs> That's why I think of it. I'm slicing my jowls and I'm just kind of massaging them away. I'm sculpting my jowls. See, and you can, I mean, from doing just it a few times, I mean, you can kind of see a little bit of difference, I think. And then I just turn it and do it this way. I'm not very good. I'm not coordinated enough with my left hand to do it with my left hand. And you just do it just so for a little bit. And like I said, you definitely want to be gentle with it because you can definitely cause some bruising if you don't. <coughs> Sorry, my morning frog. I always have a morning frog with me. I just gently go up and down. So if you've been wondering about this little tool, or you've been seeing them and you want to know how to use them, if you have a neck cream that you like, <coughs> now you know how to use it. <coughs> but this is the part here. This part here you definitely want to be gentle with because you can definitely bruise underneath there. Because I definitely did it too hard, even though I read the directions and they said to be gentle. I thought I was being gentle, but obviously not because I did get some bruising underneath there. So, and you do it just in upward motions, like so. And that is how you use this tool and the neck cream. And that's how you do it. So, so there you go. So that is the demo for this portion of the review. Thank you. Okay, so this was sent to me through Optily. Um, so it was sent to me for re review purposes. And um, it came with this little tool, like I said. And the claims for it is, what it is, it's a cream inspired by an in-office procedure that combine, that's combined sculpting with a massage technique to reduce the look of volume under the, the neck and jawline. Um, it's for any type of skin type for normal dry um, combination and oily because you're doing it here down. So you're not actually you know, putting it on your, on your face. And it's the skincare concerns is for loss of firmness, elasticity, dryness, fine lines, and wrinkles. So my, my main concern, of, of course, is getting you know the firmness under here because you know it's starting to getting like the turkey neck. That's what I'm I worry about is starting to get the little gobbleness right here or to start getting you know the jowls right in here which I'm starting to see here which is hereditary I mean my mom has it my mom is not a big woman at all she's actually pretty small and you know she has this here and I'm starting to see this going on. And I think that's a lot has to do with so much looking down 
at the iPhone, you know, the iPad, that type thing. I mean, it's just this day and age and with the technology and so much social media that we are um, utilizing, unfortunately, that is causing a lot of damage to our, um, our skin that we don't realize we're doing. But it is because, you know, we're going down like this all the time. And it's causing, you know, this area to suffer. And like I said in that video, you definitely want to be very, very, very gentle with this action here. Because it can definitely cause some soreness and some bruising if you're not. Because this is definitely a very tender area. And you don't realize how tender it is until you start doing something like this with it. But I love this little thing. So if you happen to see these at TJ Maxx. Yeah, you might want to pick one of those up. But anyway, um, so um, the highlighted ingredients, it has a, a slim sculpt complex that's supposed to fight the, effect, the effects of excess fullness and volume and gives a sculpted look to your neck. Um, I haven't seen that yet, but in all fairness, I haven't been using it consistently like I should be to be able to see the results that I need to be able to um, do a, a, um, a fair uh, review of it. So I'm going to do, um, really do that for the rest of the month and then at the end of February, I'll be able to come back and show you the before pictures that I've taken and then do some after pictures. Um, it has pea extract in it that helps improve the appearance of elasticity, moisturizes, and reinforces the skin. And then it has a hydrofirm complex which provides moisture, hydration, and helps prevent moisture loss. Which, of course, you know, once you start really moisturizing this area and start pumping it up, that's going to help also to make it look better. So. Anyway, so those are the two products that I needed to review for you and let you know my thoughts on them. This stuff, oh, I really like this and I'm going to be sad when it's gone. And then this, really the verdict is still out on it. But I can tell you the times that I've used it and have actually taken the time to use this little tool right after I've used it and everything, I'm thinking, wow, I can really, I can really see a difference like right away. And I don't know if it's just from using this and really just doing that massage technique and, you know, kind of draining those lymph nodes right in there. That's kind of helping, you know, getting some of that drainage done. That could be part of it too. But um, anyway, like I said, I'm going to do better at using this cream and really giving you a, a better review, the review that it deserves with some really good before and after pictures at the end of the month. But anyway, yeah, this just feels so good. But like I said, be really careful if you get one of these and just don't go, uh, uh, uh. I mean, the first time that I used it, I had, I had kind of marks on my neck where I had used it. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how many times I can tell you. I'll be very, very gentle with one of these things. But anyway, so anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have enjoyed, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.